When you send an arrow for a ride, it's actually pointing to the side. An archer could be really great, but the shot never quite looks straight. It's a fact that's going to knock off your socks as we talk about the archer's paradox. Oh, hello again, friends. Yes, more talk about the longbow and arrows and cool stuff. And today we're going to talk about the archer's paradox. This is a really cool thing. What is the archer's paradox? Let's guess, jump into it. And the paradox is in order to hit the center of the target, your arrow is actually aimed to the side. What? If I point the arrow at the target, it won't hit it. This is the paradox. To hit the center, you don't aim at the center. Simply put, here's the arrow, it's on the string. If I had this, if I were drawing, ready to loose. Now, if I turn this so that the string is directly behind the bow facing the camera, you'll notice the arrow points off to the side. If I point the arrow directly at the camera, you can see the string. You can see that the bow isn't exactly lined up. What? That's right. Now, in a modern bowl with modern materials, aluminums and fiberglass and things like that, you can have a cutout, so a section, so that the arrow can go through the riser of the bow, it can go straight towards the target. But in a long bow, short bow, old recurve, things like that, ancient technology, you have to shoot around the state of the bow. And so your arrow is actually loosing and launching off center. So like I said, you can see the string. You shouldn't be able to see the string. The string is going to go directly towards the bow stave, okay? So as I draw back, and I'm not gonna draw back too far because we're in the house, okay? But as I draw back and release, that energy is moving forward with the string and the arrow has to go around the side of the bow stave in order to fly through the air towards the target. So what happens? is it's actually going to spin and wobble and flex. That's not the paradox itself. The paradox is the fact that you have to aim away from the center to hit the center. This is what requires practice. This is what I'm looking forward to, is getting used to that understanding. And, you know, medieval archers in particular, you know, English and Welsh, uh, longbowmen, just watching the target and loosing the arrow, knowing that it's going to fly and go into the center where it needs to be. So what happens is when I draw and release, the energy is coming straight, but the arrow is pointed to the side. Now the back of the arrow is going to want to move faster than the front of the arrow. The front of the arrow has a bit of friction, slowing it down, but the string is pushing the back of the arrow and it'll naturally have a wobble. And from all bows, you're going to have a wobble and you're gonna have a spin. When we talk a little bit more about arrows, we'll talk a bit more about the spin, but what happens is the arrow will actually kind of spin, wobble and spin and you boop the camera, because that's how it's gonna happen. It's actually going to release and flex and wobble around. And this wasn't figured out until the 20th century. Uh, early 20th century, they could film it in slow motion and figure out, yes, there is this paradox because when you're loosing the arrow, it is pointing away, but the way the energy and the physics impact it and push it forward, it actually flexes and spins and centers in where it needs to go. So if you aim down the arrow, you'll always miss the target. So you have to kind of understand where the bow is positioned and you're going to loose the arrow towards the target. Now that's just a really simple, basic explanation of how this works. It's the archer's paradox because the arrow points off target in order to hit the center of the target. And that's a pretty cool thing. And something we don't think about. In movies, TV, games, people just pick up a bow and start shooting. And uh, you kind of have to understand this trajectory. You have to understand that you don't aim down the arrow in order to get the idea of how archery works. Yeah, so it's just a cool little fact I wanted to share this week as we move through 
uh, longbow information. And there will be some more videos. We'll probably talk about arrow bag versus quiver. We'll probably talk about types of arrows and arrowheads. A uh, lot of stuff that we can discuss, but as always, remember, your comments help shape the content. So if there's something that you would like me to explore on the channel, comment. And do remember to like and subscribe because that helps get the video out there and more people can then put in their comments on what they want to see. And then I can make more videos that cater to what you would like. Anyway, take care, friends. Do stay safe out there. And uh, sure, keep on swinging because that's generally the catchphrase, even though today was an archery video, we can still swing a sword.